Okay, here's an application process, a uh, problem, I mean. Um, this is from your text, and it's example 5 in your text. So here's a spring that's fastened. That's what these things mean up here. That means it's fastened and not going anywhere. Here's a spring with some kind of weight on the end. Um, and somebody is holding it here, and um, it's been stretched a little bit, but not stretched out all to the maximum. In other words, it's just stretched a little bit. So if they let go of it, um, it would probably uh, recoil and go back up, but they could still continue to stretch it downward. And at this point right here, this is considered zero, or the, the zero mark. Okay. Um, and the, the function or the action of the spring is given by this equation here, where t is time, and the time is in seconds, and d of t, that's function notation, and that's given as displacement. And displacement is a physics term that means distance. And I think in this case it's, um, is it inches or is it centimeters or units? I'm not sure. We'll just call it units. Okay. So let's do an example and see how this works. So we want to know when time is zero, when t is zero, where this black is right here on the end of the spring. So d of zero is going to equal negative 5.2 times the cosine of pi times zero. Notice pi times zero is in parentheses. So let's simplify this a little bit. Negative 5.2 times the cosine zero times pi is zero. So we can just substitute right in from our unit circle in this case. Negative 5.2 and the cosine of zero is one. And then if I multiply, that's multiplication. If I multiply that out I get negative 5.2, and we'll just call it units. All right, let's do another um, part of this example, part B. Now time is one half, so you put one half in for t. So we have d of one half is negative 5.2 times the cosine of one half times pi. So let's just substitute things in there. So negative 5.2, um, the 1 half times pi over 2 is, uh, one, is pi over 2. We'll go ahead and write that as a second line there. Now we'll do the substitution. So negative 5.2 and the cosine of pi over 2 is 0. And of course when you multiply these out, that is 0. And then the third one you could um, do, let's go ahead and erase this one. Oh, my eraser's working better now. Yay. Not sure what was wrong with the eraser. Okay, so this is, oops, let's erase a little bit more. This is part C. Oh, I spoke too soon. Part C, T is one and one quarter. So this is D at one and one quarter. So we're going to put that in for T. So D of one and one quarter is equal to negative 5.2 times the cosine of pi times one and one quarter. So that equals negative 5.2 times the cosine, well that's that's going to be 5 pi over 4, 1 and a quarter is 5 fourths, so that's 5 pi over 4, and now let's substitute from our unit circle, so negative 5.2, the cosine of 5 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2, and at this point you can go ahead and pick up your calculator, and if you multiply that out you're going to get 3.7 and units or centimeters or whatever this is. Okay, so there's an application problem. Um, 
of using trigonometry and uh, kind of a famous spring problem.